Hi guys, I'm Serge from Discovering Destinations, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Discovering Eurail. We decided to make this video because for two months straight, we used Eurail Pass back in 2017. So we want to help you uncover topics such as why choose the Eurail Pass in the first place over many other methods of transportation in Europe, as well, where do you make the purchase online and how do you select the right plan for your trip? There are some shipping options that you may or may not know about. And lastly, we want to show you what do you do when you first get that package in the mail? So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first option we considered was taking the plane. It's a heavy favorite for obvious reasons. So let's evaluate the pros and cons. On the positive side, it's super fast and efficient, getting you to your destination in record time. Secondly, it's easy to find cheap tickets when traveling within Europe. On the flip side, airports are usually located outside the city center. The typical hurry up and wait game, baggage wait limits, and mandatory early check-ins. The second option we considered was renting a car, as we really enjoy taking road trips, because you can stop virtually anywhere, and also road trips are fun and memorable. On the flip side, traveling by car can get exhausting. The expenses add up pretty quickly when considering insurance and gasoline. There's often little comfort as you can't always stretch your legs. And you always have to keep parking spaces in the back of your mind. The third option we considered was the train. And as we started using the URL pass, we found more and more positive reasons. For starters, no weight limits for your luggage. No pre-check-in is required either. Arrive 20 minutes before departure and that's sufficient. First or second class seats are very comfortable and relaxing. And to top it off, the train stations are usually centrally located within the city center. Okay, now let's take a look at where to purchase the URL pass. Simply type in url.com in your browser, and that should take you to a site similar to the one that we're on right now. You can take a moment to familiarize yourself with the site and the tabs at the top. And for starters, I'm just gonna use the URL tool on the main page to simulate a trip. This will allow us to uncover available options. I'll just put in some random values here. Interesting point here, you can get an additional 15% off if you're multiple travelers planning on traveling together. Now the attendants do check, so be sure to always travel together. Also, at the time of this video, URL was offering 25% off their global pass. So just keep an eye out for flash promotions in the future. On the next page is where you can start adding various countries to your wish list. Now, just so you know, there's a couple of different ways to explore the site. The other option is if you hover the mouse over the URL passes tab at the top, you'll notice a drop down menu. Now on the side note, we encourage you to explore various scenarios on the site. And now just for comparison's sake, I'll select the global pass at the very top, input the amount of travelers, and on the next page, you'll see options for a one, two, and even three month global pass. An interesting point is that there's a cheaper global pass available. If you already know that you're gonna be traveling less than 15 days within a two month span, this can save you a little bit of money. Next, let's just have a quick look at a two country pass. Euro will show you the most popular combinations for two country passes and also available two country combinations. Again, we highly encourage you to play with the site running various simulations after the video and feel free to use our video as a reference in the future. Now, when you've made your pass selection, Simply add it to the basket like any other online purchase. I'll do this quickly just to share two other important points worth considering. Number one is the pass protection in case it gets lost or stolen. We paid the extra fee, which was more of a peace of mind thing, but later on in the video, we're gonna show you how we kept our pass safe and secure the entire trip, which is something you may wanna consider for yourselves. The other interesting point pertains to the shipping details. Now on a side note, since the URL pass is not a cheap purchase, we took forever to decide because we were exploring other options as demonstrated earlier in this video. Luckily, we discovered that we could get our passes shipped to our destination, which in this case was Paris. Otherwise, they never would have made it to Canada in time. So we highly recommend this option if you yourselves are running short on time. 
Okay guys, so this is the part that I want to show you. This is the uh, what to do when you first get the, the package in the mail or your passes in the mail. Uh, what we recommend is getting yourself one of these pouches, uh, like, like a waste pouch, uh, because it's actually quite useful. You can put a lot of documentation in there. It's RFID blocker. We ended up uh, leaving credit cards, uh, passports, and things of that sort. It's also good for any other tickets that you may need. Uh, for example, we took a cruise and this is a ticket from the cruise line and so on. Uh, the other reason as well we're recommending this is because we wanted to keep our pass stored safely, even though we took the insurance in case we lost it or got it stolen. Um, what we weren't able to do is we weren't able to put the pass in the vinyl package from your rail and directly inside the pouch. It was just too big. So what we ended up doing is just putting the pass directly inside here. Uh, so what comes in the package, you get this uh, vinyl cover over here. Your rail also sends you a map, but what we do recommend instead of using the map is just download the app here, which we're going to be covering a little bit more in the next video. So more on that later. Uh, the pouch is quite useful if ever you want to keep some tickets uh, like we've done here. So they're in super good shape and we're going to again cover those details a little bit later. So important things to do once you first receive the pass is to two things. You get the pass here, uh, you fill out your names, you fill out your passport numbers, and then you go and find an attendant at the train station. And once you do that, he's gonna see this, he's gonna validate your passports, uh, he's gonna verify everything and he's gonna stamp it. So this is gonna be active as of this date. Once he stamps this, he's also gonna fill out is valid from which date, valid to which date and also some credentials over here. And that's it. So once that's done, your pass is active and ready to go. Uh, we recommend just finding an agent that's walking around, that way you're not waiting unnecessarily in line. So that's what we ended up doing. And uh, everything went smoothly. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a felt tip pen like this, um, a fine one or a small one, whichever. Um, the reason for that is you're gonna need to fill out your trips. So you get these documents here from your rail. You're gonna to need to fill out the time, the date, and the destinations that you've gone to. Um, some control areas are gonna to ask to verify this. Very, very seldomly, actually, I don't even think ever they checked our passports. Um, but, you know, they'll verify that you have the pass and they'll verify this as well. And uh, once we didn't have these, this information filled out and we were told actually by the agent that was there. Um, and by this point, we were actually closer to Strasbourg, um, you know, around this area, and then we, st we had to backtrack. So, uh, very good thing, try not to, to do that, try to keep it organized, and try to fill it out every single time that you're going, you're boarding the train. So, those are the two important things. Uh, felt tip pen to fill out the information here, as well, get it stamped, that way it's active and you're ready to go. Um, and then, yeah, just a recommendation, if you guys wanna put it in the pouch, it's entirely up to you, but we found that this was useful. It did mangle it a little bit, but I mean, I'd rather have it on me than have it uh, somewhere else and then out of sight. So basically, this was always with me and safe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Our goal today was to share our experience from the URL Pass, and uh, we hope that we helped you uncover whether you wanted to purchase it or not. That being said, uh, feel free to tune in to our next Discovering video, which is going to cover the reservations portion whether it's better to use a smartphone application, the online browser, or the in-person reservation method. If you have any outstanding questions or comments that you would like to share with us, please feel free to do so. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found value in this video, and subscribe if you want more. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time.